guys, it's no Chris Murphy one here, and how we are doing today? So today I bring you the Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi Legacy Lightsaber. So let's get straight into the review, guys. Let's go. Okay, so guys, here we go. Here's the Legacy Lightsaber of Luke Skywalker, as you can see here. Here's the box the hilt comes in, and the hilt is separate from the blade. Like you have to buy the blade separately. It doesn't come all together like it normally does, and like the Force effects and stuff like that. So. As you can tell, it has a little green symbol here, which is I like unique for all sorts of characters. They're all sort of different, and it shows you what color the blade will be. So, what I'll do now is I crack open this little lightsaber coffin. I guess you can call it that. So, so you guys can have a bit of a look at the hill. What it looks like inside. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a really, really good design. It looks, I, to my, in my opinion, it looks identical to the movie. So let's have a close look at the hilt, shall we? It's got a little um, D ring as well for your belt clip if you want to put it on your belt. So it's, the good thing with this is, with this, it doesn't look like the emitter does not look like it can put a blade in it. Like as you can see, there's nothing here we can put a blade in at all. It's too thin as well so the good thing with this is in the box so at the bottom of this box you will notice the black padding sort of thing that you get all you need to do is remove that like so and have a look underneath so what you'll find is obviously a bit of plastic protecting and then you'll find a thicker admitter for it so as you can see this one's a lot thicker this one will definitely support a blade so as you can see with this one it definitely won't go in at all so what i'll do is i'll show you now what it looks like on so all you need to do to put the other emitter on all you need to do is turn this like so there we go and grab the other emitter right now so the big thick one, turn it on. So yeah, when, when it's on, it will look a lot thicker than, compared to the other one. And as, as you can see, a bit of a size difference here. One's a lot thicker to support a blade and the other one is more of a wearable sort of look to it. So if you wanna wear it on your belt, if you're going Comic Con or walk around Disney, you want it to look exactly like the movie, wear this one. If you wanna put a blade in it, do with it, whatever, put this one on. Okay, so now I'm gonna chuck the blade in so you can see what the lights are going to look like, how bright it is, what the sound and sensitivity all that is like. So I'll get it in now if I can. Nope, wrong way. There we go, sound to confirm it's in. So let's light it up, shall we see the colour? As you can see, it's got a lovely green colour to it. If, it. if you can't see it too clearly, I'll switch the lights off in just a second. So it's quite loud, but it's not overly loud compared to the other sabers that you, use, that you get from Galaxy's Edge. So in my opinion, like, compare this one to the Darth Vader Legacy lightsaber, the Darth Vader one is so much louder. And also is the Kylo Ren one. But it's very clear, this one. It's very accurate to the movies. So what I'll do now is I'll do a little sound test of the Legacy. And then I'll show you the one from the movie to see the resemblance see if which one is more realistic so here we go and now I'm going to show you the one from the movie okay now so I've dimmed the lights down to show you guys what the blade looks looks like all lit up in a darker room so let's let me know your opinions on this in the comment section down below if you like the brightness if you like the LEDs and all that so here we go very bright if you guys can't see it if you can't see it too clearly on camera it is a very very bright one it looks really really nice it's got a little clash effects there that flickers yellow which all the galaxy edge ones do so here we go again so as you can see it's got all different sounds So in my opinion, it sounds very, very movie accurate, which is awesome, in my opinion. So, which I think is great. They got the movie accuracy right with the saber. 
unlike most sabers you see on the market, like they're not always sounding the exact same as as the movie. Okay, so if you guys want to purchase this saber, you would have to go to Disney's Galaxy's Edge, and you would have to go to Doc Andar's Den of, Antiqu uh, Den of Antiquity. I apologize for butchering that. It's a very complicated word to say at times. But if you want to get the hilt only, it will cost you $129.99. And the blade, if you want to get a 36 inch, like this one here, I think this is a good size for it to be honest, in my opinion. I like the bigger blades. It looks more accurate. The blade for the 36 inch will be $50, $49.99 basically. And for the 26 inch blade, which is a lot smaller than this one, as you could probably guess, that will cost $45.99. Well, for, yeah, $45. So, in my opinion, go for the bigger one. It's $5 difference, doesn't make much of a difference to be honest. So guys, if you want to know where the batteries are in this saber, I will show you now. So it'll be just at the bottom, as you can see, right where the speaker is. So all you do is turn that. And it'll come out like so. Okay guys, my final review. So the fact that you can wear it, wearability is spot on. The display look of it, it is fantastic. The way you can swap the emitters out, like you can have the one for the blade and one for just wear, wearable. So you can, very, very movie accurate there. So that's a plus. The sounds are spot on. It sounds exactly like Luke Saber from Return of the Jedi. And nothing as well, it is battle ready. With the Galaxy's Edge blades, you notice if you shake it, it's a, it wobbles. That's to absorb the impact so it doesn't damage the hilt. And the good thing with these is if the if the blade breaks, you could just buy a new one. Unlike most ones, like for example, like the Force FX ones, the blades are specific to that saber. So you have to probably buy a new saber, which is more money, a lot more than you probably want to pay, like $50. Still quite a bit, but it's more worth it. You can just get more of the blades. Easy, done. And also, the brightness is very, very spot on to the saber as well it's not too dark it's not dull it's a very nice green shade to it that's one reason i couldn't do anything with the green screen i'm still getting still working on that so but yeah guys i think this is an amazing saber so my final score i'm going to give this one a 10. so congratulations to disney for making it such a brilliant lightsaber there's not many faults i can give with this to be honest like obviously it'll be nice if we put a blade in here and actually use it like Luke does in the movie. But not quite there yet. Give it a bit more time. But overall, I think it's absolutely fantastic. The design, the look, the feel of it. It's one of the lighter legacy sabers in the parks, I think, because Kylo Ren's is massively heavy. This is definitely one of the lightest. But yeah, so in my opinion, guys, if you guys want to let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree, Please do, and also guys, let me know in the description down below what lightsaber you want me to review next. I'm looking for suggestions on what to do. So, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that little notification bell. And guys, as always, may the force be with you, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.